Michael Riley got his start with Kyle Cooper at RGA in the 1990s. His main titles include Gattaca, Spielberg's Band of Brothers, and Kung Fu Panda, as well as TV shows such as Ally McBeal, Criminal Minds, and Modern Family. Riley has won numerous awards for his film design work. He has been nominated three times for an Emmy for Outstanding Main Title Design. He is currently creative director at Shine, a design studio in LA. You know, there are certain elements of, of the old school production methodology that, um, that sometimes I'm a little bit nostalgic for. You know, I used to love film. Um, you know, all the first title sequences that, that I, I had the opportunity to work on, you know, they were all done on an animation stand and composited optically. You know, to a certain extent, you know, those were kind of like golden handcuffs because, you know, if you did something once and you wanted to change it, it was A, very time consuming, B, really expensive, C, involved a lot of people and a lot of late nights. And now, you know, that you have your, the, all the power just on a laptop, you can just change it yourself, which I love. It's totally liberating. Backup Plan is um, a movie that's directed by uh, Alan Poole, and it's a romantic comedy, and it's starring uh, Jennifer Lopez. And she plays a woman who very much uh, wants to get pregnant. Uh, she hasn't met the right guy yet, and uh, so her backup plan is to just go ahead and have a baby even though she hasn't met Mr. Right. Uh, for the backup plan, we, um, we pitched four different ideas. This was a very graphic idea where uh, we depict Jennifer Lopez graphically walking through New York, and as she does so, um, there are icons in New York that turn into um, baby iconography. Um, here is um, a puddle that's on the ground uh, that turns into spilled milk. Um, here are some signs. Um, let's say Park Avenue, uh, Greenwich Avenue, it turns into um, a baby crib. When the director looked at this idea, he said, it looks too cold, it looks too graphic, it's too stylized. He said, I want to set up the audience for a romantic comedy. So um, we took, kind of took a step back and we said, you know, what, what can we bring to this idea that would somehow make it more fitting for the movie? And we found an illustrator, his name was Nate Ragg, and we asked him to do some illustrations and that was kind of what solved the creative challenge for Alan. He looked at it and said, you know, these illustrations to me have the right kind of fun to them, they're graphic, and he said, he said, I can foresee that we can come up with a lot of really fun scenarios that would tell the story. I like to think of myself as a graphic designer, but maybe a little bit of a storyteller too. Um, I think that there are tons of other places that uh, graphic designers can get involved to be more more involved with the storytelling. That's one of the things I think is so great about this this medium and this time is that you know graphic designers, designers that work in film and television can kind of break over into the area of storytelling and storytellers kind of want to get their feet in the area of design. I would love to do a film at some point. Um, I, you know, a lot of times I feel like, uh, you know, if you're working on a commercial or if you're working on a, a, uh, an animated title sequence, sometimes you're telling a little bit of a story or you're, you're kind of getting your feet wet as a, a storyteller. Um, I, think that, um, I, I think that more and more design is gonna go the route of, of, of uh, allowing designers to be storytellers and, uh, and I, I would love to do more of that. Gattaca is an example where we, uh, where I not only had the opportunity to work on the main title, but also on um, the marketing. And uh, Andrew Nichol, um, who was the director, really had the vision for this movie and really uh, had also a vision for the marketing. Um, he, it was really important to him that the main title looked like the marketing and the marketing looked like the main title. So many times you, you'll, you'll watch a trailer for a movie and it'll look like one thing and then you'll get into the movie and you're watching the title sequence and it's something completely different. 
Um, from his point of view, he really wanted to make it consistent. My name is Temple Grandin. I'm not like other people. I think in pictures, and I connect them. This is a main title for uh, Temple Grandin that we did for HBO. And it's a, a true story about a woman, uh, and her name is Temple Grandin. And she is um, autistic, and she's very well known for um, advocating for animal rights. And um, one of the things that she was really famous for is designing uh, uh, cattle systems for slaughterhouses. And uh, she thought that every animal deserved dignity. And so it was her goal to, um, even though uh, cattle did end up in a slaughterhouse, uh, she believed that they should be treated as humanely as possible. These are all croppings from her actual drawings. Um, these are lines that she drew. We. Um, used all of the drafting drawings to, to uh, uh, illustrate what she did. We presented several ideas. We also presented this idea here where um, we used little bits and pieces from her scrapbook. She had a scrapbook where she um, took down visual notes. Um, she was a very, she's a very visual thinker. She thinks in pictures. She remembers lots of things. And, so she's always, she's always writing down uh, images of things that she sees in the film, and that struck us. Um, and one of the things that we wanted to uh, insert into this particular idea was her drawings of cows. So you know, her drafting drawings were always very analytical, but whenever she drew animals, they always had a smile on their faces. And um, it showed that uh, you know, Temple Grandin was obviously a is a very brilliant thinker, um, a very uh, creative and analytic thinker, um, but also a very com compassionate person. We felt that, that these drawings of the cows and the way that they smile to us looked very um, human. They looked very compassionate, and we wanted to show that contrast. Mm -hmm. 